so well, one thing we didn't mention, of course, is that the cover player has been officially revealed as James Harden. Uh, we didn't. Uh, we sort of buried the lead on that one. So James Harden, it, it kind of leaked a couple of weeks ago, and we got official confirmation today. We saw some pretty cool videos with the people at the event. Uh, Rest going, in peace, Dougie's ankles. Yep. Yeah, um, good game, bro. Um, good game, bro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he uh, gave it his best shot, but turns out James Harden's pretty good offensively. So uh, James Harden is the cover player. The cover is, yeah, that's kind of a unique cover design, Ben, with the the streets on one side in the league so you don't sort of you don't have the the one picture of, of Harden on the cover yeah uh, it's an interesting dynamic for what they've done in the past so um representing both sides of the game that they're representing yeah 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 so they got essentially a two-for-one cover yeah uh i don't think Harden got two paychecks for that for the cover <laughs> <laughs> for two, taking two pictures so I'm, he, I'm sure he's pretty content with these uh, he probably these well team. probably well compensated with uh, real currency and not, yeah, not, yeah, not just uh, virtual currency reward points or skill points. So I think he got, probably got real dollars for that. Yeah. Uh, yes, so we know that there's the we know the cover player. There was a, a short, I think, about thirty second trailer. Uh, Follow no one is is the uh, tagline on that one for the the cover reveal of James Harden and playing. It, it shows him playing in both the the league and the the streets. Demo is out, as we said. Uh, the other thing is the the pre-order bonus, as, as you said, Ben, and it's an, an interesting approach to a pre-order bonus compared to what we've seen for other games. Yeah, uh, the with depending on uh, with uh, deal with uh, some retailers and that, uh, you can get the game for forty US dollars as opposed to sixty. So uh, you get a, th- a third off. Yeah, yeah. usually with the pre-order. Uh, editions you you're paying more for them and there is actually a leaked deluxe edition that, that that's that showed up on the amazon uk side we don't really know what what's it about or whether it's an erroneous listing but there is a more expensive deluxe edition maybe maybe that will come with some ultimate team packs or something like that um we again we can only speculate on that so that sounds like there might be a deluxe edition but yeah if you pre-order you can actually get it cheaper which is uh, quite unique and Obviously, they're pulling out all the stops and making the game better, but all kinds of incentive to get people to get back into the game. Uh, very smart on EA's part. Yeah, you know, uh, given the the delays or just the sort of, um, you know, uh, I don't want to say fail, but, you know, sort of not, not as well received. Yeah, you know, it's shortcomings. I was trying to find a polite way. Uh, you know, of the, game, the games of the past and that, I think this is a good way. Uh, definitely takes out that stigma that you know EA is out to cash grab. You know, like mm. only releasing like half a game, and then uh, you know then they'll do the whole season pass thing where they get the other half of the game for an extra, basically, double amount. So taking out that sort of stigma element where a lot of people will sort of bash EA f- like, in, and criticize and all that stuff for. Uh, so I think and shows goodwill towards the community, um, you know, for being patient in terms of you know trying to get the game to where it needs to be and stuff like that. Definitely. So, so yeah, I, th- I think that's a good enough. You know, if you're looking at you know we're just buying, going to buy the one. This might pique your interest in buying two games in in a sense, given that you're not spending twice as much in that sense. Sure, just, just save some money and get and get both yeah. and and have the two experiences absolutely very smart strategy as we said also very smart is the release date september 15th which coincides with the early tip-off weekend for 2k18 so there was speculation where would it be there was a rumor because gamespot put out this uh, as we said last week a december release date and people started running with that and there were it was kind of i don't want to call anyone out because a few people picked it up uh, but there was some kind of irresponsible a journalism going on with people picking up and running with that GameSpot date and, and speculating on, oh, and the, this could mean real problems for NBA Live. And then people came, EA came out themselves, EA's reps and devs came out and said, uh, yeah, that's not the case. That was GameSpot pulling that out of their ass, basically. <laughs> um, the, the date is September 15th, to coincide with the early tip-off weekend. Uh, we, we saw how Live 15 pushing their release date back hurt the game and the sales there. Yeah. So, again, a very smart decision to have it come out, not just on the street date of the 19th, which is the street date for 
2K18. I'm sure a lot of stores are going to break it, as usual, <laughs> because that's always the case. <laughs> Nothing as good as when we got Live 06 early in Australia, though. Remember that glorious day? Oh, yeah. It was like three weeks early, wasn't it? It was It was definitely earlier, yeah. We, we made a big fuss about it, and that never happened again. So... Yeah, and, and I kept bragging that, you know, I was proud that none of us, uh, no Aussies actually pirated it, like, we put it on, like, torrent sites or anything like that. So I was pretty proud that... No, well, yeah. it's only Game of Thrones that we pirated yeah. it. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> but then, apparently, everyone does that. Um <laughs> Piracy's banned in the NLC forum. But <laughs> regardless, September 19th, if they put it out there, then obviously the early tip-off weekend, gets they get the jump on live again. I mean, 2K's obviously got such a great product out that it's hard enough to compete already with, with live having to play catch-up and come back. But for it to actually launch on the same day, yeah, it, it's, just, it's just smart business, and I'm happy to see that. I'm definitely happy to see that the December date, for whatever reason that was chosen... It was so wide of the mark, and it's a shame that people pick up that story and ran with it when without any without any confirmation. I was a bit disappointed in that. Yeah, and um, there was actually a like EA had the earnings report from the previous quarter, and that, and usually in, in that one actually they posted you know things that were coming out the following quarter, and Live eighteen was mentioned in that. Um, so you know the fact that they ran with that without verifying that information if i can see it pretty easily i'm pretty much sure they could as well i'm pretty yeah. sure they had, had the same sources and that that i did so uh, yeah that was disappointing to see that that error in the, in, the, in that in that report it, it kind of feels that when people do that they're looking for live to fail so they can feel smug and talk down about the brand and look i know we've been accused of being live fanboys we've had plenty of criticisms in the past um, we want both games to succeed at, at the end of the day but if you're going to criticize the game and, and to, re- to resort to that kind of speculation, yeah, that, that was kind of, it was kind of disappointing to see. I, I do think that it's been, it, it was resolved fairly quickly with some retractions, but it's still kind of hurtful to put it out there. And you, and you do wonder, are you trying to hurt the game or, or what's your motivation kind of thing? And especially when you start speculating on top of, you know, all, all they had to go on was an erroneous date. And then they yeah. started speculating on top of that. It was a bit, uh, I thought that was a bit sloppy, but you know, to, to, the, to those people's credit, they did post retractions and conf- confirmations once that came through. So September fifteenth, that's when we're going to get the the game, and you can pre-order that, get the thirty three percent off. Uh, I, I believe that might be. Well, hopefully it's it's worldwide on different retailers. We'll have to check into that. So. Yeah, I've been checking the Australian stores and stuff at the moment. Haven't there hasn't been listed up yet. So. Yeah, I was checking JB Hi-Fi. Hasn't been uh, listed as uh, as you said. Uh, as far as the deluxe edition, if that's a thing, what do you think that's going to, uh, going to uh, entail? Again, I think it's just going to be uh, something like Ultimate Team Packs. Yeah, yeah. not sure. Uh, I was trying to think what they, if it comes with any extra physical like promotional stuff. I don't know. Um, I think, yeah, it's, it's definitely. I think it's digital though, so it must be in game. Okay, so yeah, it'd have to be in game then. So um, yeah, so. Some bonus loot crates, I guess, that you can unlock immediately. Uh, yeah, good point. Extra, the extra RP. ultimate team stuff. Yeah, it, it'd have to be things like that. Uh, so other than that, not a hundred percent sure. Uh, obviously, we're still, you know, waiting to know more about some of the other game modes and stuff. So whether anything in terms of those could apply, uh, that they could put put extra things with. So definitely, I think we'll wait and see at this stage. Absolutely. We still need to get a confirmation of the fact that it's that it, there is a deluxe edition for a start, but it, yeah. it, it is listed on Amazon UK. So for the moment, there seems to be a possibility at least. We'll cover that as uh, as news comes through and we have actual details on that. But I think that's pretty solid speculation. Ultimate team stuff or a bit of extra RP. As you say, maybe some bonus loot crates. Either way, yeah, yeah, you know, something to really help get you my uh, your one player sort of started a little bit further along kind of things. So yeah, to be the one in style as well. Yeah. 